Hey, Brick Blogateers, Will here, and today we're looking at set 10297, the Boutique Hotel. Now, let's first look at the minifigures you get in the Boutique Hotel. These are the employees. From left to right, we have the lady that works in the gallery. We have the bellhop that takes in all your luggage and clothes. Uh, we have the receptionist uh, in the same type of livery as the uh, bellhop. And then on the far left is actually a barista that runs a cart outside. And he works for the cafe corner from the very first modular because this uh, particular set is 15th, the 15th anniversary of all the modular sets. So we're gonna have tons of nods to the various modulars over the years. As for those staying in this hotel, we have the accountant who works at the bank. And then we have two world travelers. Uh, the younger one stays in the economy rooms and the older lady stays in the VIP room. Now let's move on to the hotel itself. So, as I mentioned before, uh, 15th anniversary means that there's going to be a whole lot of nods to the other modulars, including uh, building styles as well as stories that form um, connections between all the various sets. So, uh, for building-wise, you see things like the sand green coloring on one of the floors. Uh, from the green grocer, you see the candles using as columns that we saw at the bookshop. Uh, and of course, you see a lot of the wrought iron work, both on the rooftop, which I absolutely love. Those are the uh, snakes from Ninjago colored in black, uh, mixed with these small, newish, uh, too long bars, uh, kind of with ring stoppers in between, as well as wrought iron work leading up to the outdoor wine drinking area on top of the stairs. Uh, going up the stairs on the outside area, you have a bulletin board, and in there you have a number of uh, advertisements for various businesses like the detective's office, as well as the gym from the downtown diner. Uh, the gallery features a lot of cubist art that is uh, on display. In fact, one of the pieces is the from the artist in the Parisian restaurant. So taking off this top floor of the gallery, we actually get a uh, really nice palm tree that uses the queen whatever I want to be's crowns to make up the trunk of the tree, which actually makes some very nice texturing. Uh, the tables on the inside of the area is made up of the two by two round bricks that have the vertical lines that actually makes a nice pleated look for a uh, tablecloth for the various round uh, tables. However, there are no seats in here, so it's a standing room sort of only. So you've gone to the gallery, you've chatted about, and now this is where you hobnob with those other fancy uh, art lovers. As for the hotel itself, let's take off the roof. So that way we can actually see a bit of the construction on each of the floors. Uh, the bottom part here is more or less a square type design, but then it flares up to meet up with what I would call a kind of an ice cream cone shape for uh, this rounded curved part. As you can see where the two sections meet is a series of wedges. And uh, this is what the instructions refer to as reflective uh, Pythagorean triangles, where they have a right and left version, then they put them facing each other to create that seamless line. Moving on to the VIP, room you have maybe i should do it this way you have the uh restroom which is the only restroom inside the ent entire building so if you uh need relief you have to pay extra uh you have the bed you have an armchair a wardrobe as well as a black and white tv 
So it gives you a, a good concept of where the technology level is in the modular city line and world as to where it is. Considering this is the VIP room, I love the, um, the pedestal sink inside the bathroom as well as the tub with the gold faucet. Moving on to the economy rooms, we actually have two of them. One is much smaller than the other. So uh, there is, of course, a bed as well as a little kind of a wardrobe area in the mini area. Uh, the other one does have a wardrobe. It's just hard to see because it's right next to the door uh, walking in. Everything is still kind of cramped given the amount of space. The one detail that I absolutely love about the larger economy room is on the writing desk is a sand green or maybe an olive green typewriter. So again, another connection to a different modular, the bookshop, that anyone who comes in here and writes a book, turns around, sells their book at the bookshop. Now for the base floor, we have, of course, two businesses because the galleries on this side, as well as the hotel on the other side, uh, the art on display is all of a cubist style, uh, which is the current fashion that uh, the gallery is going after. Um, one thing I do uh, like is over here is a dumpster, and that's actually what holds the pinhole connection. It's just built solidly into the base plate to give it a nice good purchase, and it's not tied into a building like so many other modulars are. Let me turn it again. As for the lobby area of the hotel, you have four keys behind the receptionist desk. Uh, she has a phone and of course in the instructions, it tells you that that's the phone she uses to call the lieutenant for the police department. Uh, of course, some nice built stairs going up. Uh, I was actually surprised they didn't actually use any prefabricated stair pieces like they've done in so many years uh, before. Every stair in this thing is just all brick built. That's uh, so that you can get all the fancy, nice and curves that you get, uh, no matter whether or it's inside or outside of the building. And of course you can see the nice diagonal wall that goes uh, between the two buildings, which I've talked about in the brick breakdown. So with it being the 15th anniversary of the set, it's nice to see a, another hotel, which uh, is based off of the cafe corner uh, design. Of course, in that very first hotel, we actually didn't have any of the interior pieces that we get these days. So it's nice to actually see a hotel that's fully fleshed out with all the rooms and the bathrooms and the various amenities that we can expect. So this is a hotel that you can actually stay at, whereas the other one is probably just being renovated. Uh, but all of that comes in a $200 package, which is a little pricey, uh, given the fact that it's not remarkably bigger. Like, uh, for example, the town hall was a bit of a larger style set uh, in terms of height. Uh, however, they cram in a whole lot of nice colors and fancy pieces in this. So I definitely do think you get your money's worth, plus a nice host of characters and nods to all the modulars past. So again, this is set 10297, the boutique hotel. And in my opinion, it's well worth it.